Tēnā tātou kua huhui mai nei ki te tautoku i te kaupapa kotahi kia whawhai mō ngā oranga o ngā tangata kiriuri. We are ngā hinepū kōrero and we are a spoken word group that talk about Māori injustice as well as other political issues going on within our country. We are here to show support for the Black Lives Matter movement and the poem that we are about to share with you talks about the importance of our voices as well as the importance of our language that our Māori. So I hope you get to take something away from this piece. Ngā mihi. Te reo Māori is the native language of our country, passed down from generation to generation. Over a single century, it almost vanished from a law that suppressed the sound of it in schools. Kids were bruised by their teacher's knuckles for speaking it on the playground. This was their way of delivering us from our wayward state. They viewed our language as the head of a snake Deemed useless because it wasn't written on paper It wasn't long until we were forced to speak In silence Our kaumatua, oh, no, grandparents Lives were stained in blues and purples English fingers slithering around their necks Subdued until their sentences were laced with shame Choking on blood and pride I can hear their screams I've never heard them speak. Nowadays being fluent in Te Māori is a privilege. I've been told how lucky I am to have it as my first language. Speak patterns into the air. Over time it has lost its ability to fly. Language separated from tongue like root from tree. So we tuck tarakeke. No! Flaps! Into our cheeks. Stick the fibres between our teeth. Let them knit together in our breath. For if I stay silent, my tupuna. No! Ancestors will find a way to pry my jaws open. My nana couldn't speak. She was beaten until her jaw was broken. Use the pieces to raise our family. I speak teachings of broken bones because no one else in my family could. So tell us to be quiet and we'll read life into ancestors we haven't met. Tell stories of a past submerged in bleach. Legacy lives on in our voices. You can't take them away from us. I hate forgetting. Had to teach myself the prayers. No. no. Karakia, my parents didn't learn. Had to overpronounce my words so the condensed history within each syllable was heard. We, we learned not to forget, forget but, but to hide in our whispers. whispers. Keeping our culture alive in the bottom of our lungs. We drowned our ill in the depths of our stomachs. Stitched it into our clothes. So, so tell us to be quiet and know that we won't. This is our language. We are reclaiming it. We will speak it. Because our bodies weren't built for silence, we will speak it. Until the very eardrums is bruised, we will speak it. For every person that was beaten into silence, we will speak it. For every person that was never taught, we will speak it. We will speak it. We will speak it. Ki ngā kino te pākehā, 